You are too. <laughs> Jeez, man, you're going to Oakland, not to the gas chamber. <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> oh, everyone, this is April, our new nanny. Oh, April, well, you better take good care of these people and watch out for the big one here. When she gets going, she gets shatter in the eardrum. <laughs> Nothing that a ball of cotton won't take care of. Now, if you're going, go. The door's open and there's a chill in the air. Spit spot. Spit? Let's go, man, before Dick Van Dyke pops out of the fireplace. Spit spot. April? Yes, Mrs. Warren? Oh, thank goodness. For a moment, I thought I was in the wrong house. Where are the children? <laughs> Awaiting your arrival. Children? <laughs> oh, kids, you look adorable. Oh, please, Mom. I look like the black Pippi Longstocking. <laughs> Everyone, take your seats. For luncheon, we'll be dining on beef wellington. Ooh, meat. That sounds delicious. <laughs> but, Mom, Marion says meat clogs your arteries. Well, Marion's not here to say it anymore, is he? <laughs> oh, this meal looks fantastic. Just doing my job. I've also cleaned the house from top to bottom, reorganized the garage, and as we speak, I'm drawing up plans for a skylight over your bed. <laughs> Mom, it's almost time for Marion's game. Oh, that's right. Well, let's take our plates into the living room. <gasps> I doubt Colin Powell's children ever ate in front of the telly. <laughs> well, April has a good point. Dinner time is family time, so let's pick a fork and start shoveling. <laughs> hey, baby. Hey, hey, what's going on? What's going on? Mary, you back in uniform looks better than Pam Gray in hot pants. I just want to thank you for standing by me when no one else did. Hey, I told you, I believe in you. You like a son to me. Besides, you owe me money. Now go out there and kick the snot out of those guys. Oh, yes. Destruction! Yeah! has made his return to the field after a devastating knee injury. Mom, look, it's Marion. Yeah. Marion Hill finds daylight at midfield. He breaks a tackle of the 40. He's going all the way. He's at the 10, the 5. Touchdown! Yeah! Oh, Marion is the bomb. Oh, Tonya, he never ran that fast when I told him to go <laughs> mow that lawn. <laughs> Marion Hill slashes to his right. He cuts back inside. Oh, no! What a move! Indeed. Looks like your friend Marion is back in football to stay. <laughs> yes, fans, with an electrifying four touchdown performance, it looks like Marion Hill is back in football to stay. <laughs> to stay? I'm going to bed. Austin, it's only four o'clock. <laughs> I got homework. talking with Raider hero Marion Hill. And Marion, what a comeback. I just want to say that I couldn't have done it without my mentor, Sam, and three special friends I have back in L.A. This one's for you. And Jackie, put down that Chokey Monkey ice cream. Yeah! <laughs> well, that's the story from here. We're thanks to Marion Hill. The Raiders are playoff bound. Any final oh, yeah. words? Oh, yeah, we're going all the way this wow. time. Oh. Marion. Oh, my soul. Marion, you look so lonely sitting there all by yourself. Where's your posse? Headed to Dallas. I heard Deion Sanders' posse might have some openings. Are you okay? Oh, I'm great. Dislocated my shoulder. I'm out for the season and I didn't sign my new contract. But on the bright side, this shortcake's incredible. Ooh, isn't it though? April made this from scratch. You know, she steam cleaned all the furniture. Did the windows, and you might not have noticed it, but you got clean water in your water bed. I noticed. 
glad things are going right for somebody around here. The universe is really messing with my head. I ran rings around that other team, then slipped and fell in a puddle of power aid. <laughs> Maybe this is the universe's way of putting things the way they're supposed to be, Marion. Look, you were great in the game yesterday, but the Raiders were doing fine before you come back, and I'm sure they'd get by without you. What are you, the receptionist for Dr. Kevorkian? <laughs> When you first came to work for me, you wanted me to pay you a compliment. And I had a really hard time doing that. But since that time, as much as I hate to admit it, you've become a part of our lives. I mean, April is the best nanny I've ever seen. But the fact of the matter is the kids are unhappy. And if they're unhappy, I'm unhappy. They need you, Marion. So I guess in a way, we all need you. Thanks, Jack. And if I were to also be truthful, I'd have to say, in my heart, I don't like you. <laughs> You're loud, sarcastic, and annoying. <laughs> but you're also very tough and smart. And you happen to have a couple of cool kids. And anyway, the ancients tell us we learn more from our adversaries than our friends, so... So are you saying you'll work for me again? Are you saying you want me to? Do I have to beg? I gotta get something out of this. <laughs> oh, come on, Marion. You gotta come back to us. Why, because you miss me? No, because I already fired April. <laughs> you fired the best nanny you ever had for me? April may be one hell of a nanny, but let's face it, Marion. You the man. <laughs> Kids, Austin, Tiffany, I've got some news, good and bad. <laughs> Marion's back. Oh! <laughs> Ow! Don't touch the arm!